This set of slides were organized by Professor Alemi and describe how to filter columns in SQL by using the SELECT command. The SELECT command is the most common command in SQL. It is also almost always used in data manipulation codes. Its purpose is to filter data. Its focus says the analysis on columns of data, that is fields from a table. Here is the syntax of the SELECT command. SELECT command is usually followed by one or more field names separated by comma. The FROM portion of the command specifies the table it should be read from. Here is an example. We see the SELECT command asking the software to report on a variable or field called ID and another called first name. These variables are read from a table called hashtag temp. If necessary, the field names can be replaced with a star, in which case the select command will list all the fields in the table. This command tells the server to return the top 20 rows of data from the temporary file hashtag temp. The top 20 modification of the SELECT command is used to restrict display of large data and enable faster debugging. The prefix to a table must include the name of the database. To avoid doing so repeatedly, the name of the database is defined at start of the code with the USE command. Here the code is instructing the computer to use tables in database 1. In addition, the query must identify the type of table that should be used. The place where a table is written is dictated by its prefix. A prefix of DBO indicates that the table should be permanently written to the computer data storage unit. This command says that the query is referencing the permanent table named data. The hashtag preceding the table name says that the query is referencing a temporary table. These types of tables disappear when the query has, that has created it is closed. These data are not written to the computer's storage unit. A double hashtag indicates a temporary file that can be referenced from multiple queries. The table is temporary, but is available to all open windows of SQL code, not just the window that created it. This is particularly helpful in, trans in transferring temporary data to procedures. Thus, Single hashtag prefix indicates a temporary local file. Double hashtag prefix indicates a global temporary file. And prefix DBO marks a permanent file. Select command specifies the fields and from command the table and location of the table. 